government exists to protect us from each other. Where government has gone beyond its limits is in deciding to protect us from ourselves. I've noticed that everyone who is for abortion has already been born. The greatest leader is not necessarily the one who does the greatest things. He is the one that gets the people to do the greatest things. Freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We didn't pass it to our children in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and handed on for them to do the same, or one day we will spend our sunset years telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in the United States, where men were free. If we ever forget that we're one nation under God, then we will be one nation gone under. Within the covers of the Bible are the answers for all the problems men face. There is no limit to the amount of good you can do if you don't care who gets the credit. As government expands, liberty contracts. The most terrifying words in the English language are I'm from the government and I'm here to help. I have left orders to be awakened at any time during national emergency, even if I'm in a cabinet meeting. Christmas can be celebrated in the schoolroom with pine trees, tinsel and reindeers, but there must be no mention of the man whose birthday is being celebrated. One wonders how a teacher would answer if a student asked why it was called Christmas. Live simply, love generously, care deeply, speak kindly, leave the rest to God. Republicans believe every day is the 4th of July, but the Democrats believe every day is April 15. Sometimes when I'm faced with an atheist, I am tempted to invite him to the greatest gourmet dinner that one could ever serve, and when we have finished eating that magnificent dinner, to ask him if he believes there's a cook. You can tell a lot about a fellow's character by his way of eating jelly beans. We don't have a trillion dollar debt because we haven't taxed enough, we have a trillion dollar debt because we spend too much. We must reject the idea that every time a law is broken, society is guilty rather than the lawbreaker. It is time to restore the American precept that each individual is accountable for his actions. A nation that cannot control its borders is not a nation. I know in my heart that man is good, that what is right will always eventually triumph, and there is purpose and worth to each and every life. Heroes may not be braver than anyone else. They're just braver five minutes longer. I've heard that hard work never killed anyone, but I say why take the chance? Status quo, you know, is Latin for the mess we're in. 
government's view of the economy could be summed up in a few short phrases. If it moves, tax it. If it keeps moving, regulate it. And if it stops moving, subsidize it. I hope we once again have reminded people that man is not free unless government is limited. There's a clear cause and effect here that is as neat and predictable as a law of physics. As government expands, liberty contracts. Politics is not a bad profession. If you succeed there are many rewards, if you disgrace yourself you can always write a book. It isn't so much that liberals are ignorant. It's just that they know so many things that aren't so. Some people spend an entire lifetime wondering if they made a difference in the world. But, the Marines don't have that problem. Recession is when your neighbor loses his job. Depression is when you lose yours. And recovery is when Jimmy Carter loses his. We will always remember. We will always be proud. We will always be prepared, so we will always be free. Government is not a solution to our problem, government is the problem. It has been said that politics is the second oldest profession. I have learned that it bears a striking resemblance to the first. The future doesn't belong to the light-hearted. It belongs to the brave. Socialists ignore the side of man that is the spirit. They can provide you shelter, fill your belly with bacon and beans, treat you when you're ill, all the things guaranteed to a prisoner or a slave. They don't understand that we also dream. Our natural, inalienable rights are now considered to be a dispensation from government, and freedom has never been so fragile, so close to slipping from our grasp as it is at this moment. America is too great for small dreams. When you can't make them see the light, make them feel the heat. The federal government did not create the states, the states created the federal government. Of the four wars in my lifetime, none came about because the US was too strong. To sit back hoping that someday, someway, someone will make things right is to go on feeding the crocodile, hoping he will eat you last, but eat you he will. Don't be afraid to see what you see. I have wondered at times what the Ten Commandments would have looked like if Moses had run them through the US Congress. I've never been able to understand why a Republican contributor is a fat cat, and a Democratic contributor of the same amount of money is a public-spirited philanthropist. Above all, we must realize that no arsenal, or no weapon in the arsenals of the world, is so formidable as the will and moral courage of free men and women. Government does not solve problems. 
it subsidizes them.